ACL, the world in your home. Good morning and welcome to Once a Breakfast program on MCL Television and this is a very uh, interactive uh, session, a very interactive program where we also get you entertained and informed on the happenings around the world because right after now we are going to be visiting the marble and on the marble where we get ourselves uh, inspired for the day's activities, uh, we get ourselves inspired through very inspirational words coming from the marble. After the marble, we'll go and read out the news for you so you can know what's making the rounds in the news. After that, we'll take a break and when we return, it will be time for us to look at the papers, that is our newspaper review, and then we'll conclude at the uh, news bulletin for the uh, One Star Breakfast program. After the newspaper review, we'll go on a break and uh, get back, but before that we we'll get you entertained with our documentary, A Love Apart. We hope you're going to be enjoying that very piece of documentary. After that, when we return from the break of the documentary, it will be time for us to discuss. And this morning, we are going to be looking at the APC just concluded APC convention. We hope at that point in time, you'll be joining us because it's really very interactive. Like I said earlier, that's where the interactive session begins, where we want you to tell us what you think about the just concluded successful APC convention that actually took place with Oshomili uh, coming out as a new chairman after Odike. All right, let's go straight to first things first. Jump into the marble. No legacy is so rich as honesty. No legacy is so rich as honesty is telling you and I that we should embark the virtue of honesty. There is no legacy that is as rich as honesty. When you are honest, you can command the respect and confidence of a whole lot of people. It is actually because we, we see you as an honest person that people are able to vote you in to take a very sensitive position in society. And we really hope that it is still that honesty that will keep you on that post. When you remain honest, you, you, you would not want to dis, uh, disappoint a whole lot of people who have invested a whole lot of confidence in you to show that the responsibility of the society. All right, uh, okay, let's bring it home to Abia State as a true citizen of this uh, God's own state, Abia. It behoves on us to continue to invest in the confidences of people and invest and be, by being honest. Do not disappoint those who really voted you in into office. Continue being honest. Do all the needful. Do all you can to actually bring those people to the expected end. All right. Even as a citizen, you should also remain honest with the payment of your tax. You should remain honest by wishing Abia State well. We should remain honest by always praying for Abia State and not just 
for your family or for yourself. All right. That is that from words and marble this morning. The highest legacy is honesty. Okay. Let's read out the good morning and their package of the news. The chairman, Independent National Electoral Commission, Mahmoud Yakubu, has called on the private sector to assist in advocating for a peaceful election and voters turnout in the 2019 elections. Yakubu said this at the INEC Private Sector Forum, organized by the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry in, on Tuesday. He noted that the business community is one of the biggest beneficiaries of a stable political and economic environment. Yakub, Yakubu added that the impact of prominent businessmen and women advocating for peaceful election will lead to a considerable turnout of voters. He further urged the sector to assist the Commission in voter education through corporate social responsibility, adding that the Commission could leverage on their expertise to organize electoral logistics. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has approached the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court seeking the transfer of 950 million Naira fraud case involving a former Kano State Governor, Ibrahim Shkaral. The ERCC said in a statement by its spokesman, Wilson Uwujare, that the move has become imperative due to the commotion and demonstrations that greeted his arraignment recently. Counsel for the EFCC, Johnson Ojobane, disclosed this at the resumed hearing of the case. Ojobane informed the court that the prosecution has applied to the chief judge for the matter to be transferred to another jurisdiction. The defendants also, through their counsel, told the court that they have responded to the prosecution application, urging the chief judge to refuse the application of the prosecution and allow the trial to continue in Kano. Both parties are now waiting for the decision of the chief judge. Consequently, the prosecution counsel requested for an adjournment pending the chief judge's decision to either transfer or allow the matter to continue in Kano. billion to the federal government in May, the National Bureau of Statistics. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has approached the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court seeking the transfer of 950 million Naira fraud case involving a former Kano State Governor, Ibrahim Shikarau. The EFCC said in a statement by its spokesman, Wilson Owajarin, that the move has become imperative due to the commotion and demonstrations that greeted his arraignment recently. Counsel for the EFCC, Johnson Ojogbane, disclosed this at the resumed hearing of the case. Ojogbane informed the court that the prosecution has applied to the chief judge for the matter to be transferred to another jurisdiction. The defendants also, through their counsel, told the court that they have responded to the prosecution application, urging the chief judge to refuse the application of the prosecution and allow the trial to continue in Kano. Both parties are now waiting for the decision of the chief judge. Consequently, 
The prosecution counsel requested for an adjournment pending the chief judge's decision to either transfer or allow the matter to continue in Kanu. Justice Abubakar granted the prayer of the prosecution and adjourned the matter till October 18th for hearing in the event the application for the transfer is refused. Shikara was arraigned alongside other two, Aminu Bashar Wali and Mansuam Ahmed, before Justice Zainab Baj Abubakar of the Federal High Court sitting in Kanu on May 24, 2018, on six counts of conspiracy and money laundering to the tune of 950 million naira. The Department of State Services has released the lawmaker representing Abia South Senatorial District, Senator Inyanaya Abaribe. Abaribe's media aide, Mr. Uchenna Awam, made the announcement in a statement issued on Tuesday night. A practice of the DSS head on Friday arrested and detained the senator while his Abuja home was raided same day. This statement read, about 2.32 p.m. on Tuesday, June 26, 2018, Senator Yunaya Baribe walked into freedom after five days in the DSS Gula. Abaribe, who was granted administrative bail, was released to his lawyer, led by Chukuma Wachuku Ume San. The collective calls and demand for his release have shown the great spirit of Nigerians for justice. The Federation Account Allocation Committee, FAC, disbursed $289.04 billion to the federal government in May, the National Bureau of Statistics, MBS, has said. The MBS disclosed these in FAC May 2018 disbursement statistics posted on its website. According to the Bureau, the states received a total of $181.96 billion while located while local governments received $137.33 billion. It stated that the sum of $701.02 billion was disbursed to the three tiers of government during the months under review from the revenue generated in April. According to the report, the amount disbursed comprises $612.64 billion Naira from the statutory account. 87.97 billion from value added tax VAT and 418.88 million naira being excess bank charges recovered. The report said that the sum of 49.76 billion naira was shared among the oil producing states as 30% duration fund. It said that the revenue generating agencies such as Nigeria Customs Service (NCS) the Federal Inland Revenue Services Fairs and Department of Petroleum Resources, DPR, received $4.61 billion and $8.67 billion Naira and $4.06 billion Naira, respectively, as costs of revenue collections. It further noted that the breakdown of revenue allocation distribution revealed that the sum of 247 Point one two billion naira was disbursed to the federal government consolidated revenue account. In addition, it noted that five point two five billion naira was shared for derivation and ecology, two point six two billion as establishment fund, eight point eight two billion for the development of natural resources, and six point zero five billion to the SCT. the Trump administration over its cruel and unlawful breakup of migrant families. Democratic attorneys general from, st from states, including Washington, New York, and California, launched the lawsuit. The legal action objects to the policy of refusing entry to asylum seekers at the U.S.-Mexico border. Massachusetts, Lower Delaware, Lower Illinois, Maryland, Minnesota, New Jersey, New Mexico, North Carolina, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Virginia, plus the District of Columbia, 
are the other states, student President Donald Trump's administration. In legal action filed on Tuesday with the U.S. District Court in Seattle, Washington, Mr. Trump's 20 June order to keep migrant families together was also described as illusory. It is the first legal challenge over family separation from the states which argue that the Republican president's executive order denies migrant families due process and the right to seek asylum. That's the sound of Good Morning IBR package. All the news are without to take a break. And when we get back to be time for us to look at the papers, and that is our newspaper review, and then we conclude our news bulletin for One Star Breakfast program. Don't go away. show on TV. to set aside our differences so that together we can join hands and build the idea of our dreams. Remember that my word is my bond.
For inquiries and booking, contact Address Hotel and Suites at number 18 Purple Road, Abu Hill, Aba. Telephone 081-000-00895 or 081-000-00896. Adrex, the pride of hospitality and tourism. Have you heard of Fresco World and Heaven Options Limited? Fresco is a home of the red image right here in Aba. Why go to Lagos or Portacourt for your direct image jobs? Come to Presco World and Heaven's Options located at number 145 at Bay Road Aba for perfect cover page, journals, magazines, brochures, and flyers. We also offer printing services in digital flex and billboard, window graphics, posters, stickers, heat transfers, ID cards, complimentary cards, monogram and car branding. Heaven Options offer you entertainment services like event management, ambulance services with well-dignified undertakers. We can also boast of three months ordinary program in computer training. Six more certificate in computer training and one year advanced certificate in computer training. Why not visit Prescott and experience that quality jobs? For inquiries, call 80 33 Do not deface Abia State with posters. Do not defecate on our streets. Do not litter Abia State. Do not urinate in public places. You know chop, they go talk. What do you make me do for this world? I say, make me do the things where well, we carry my hands. Now so well, one time. I did not be so. Keep Abia State clean. This message is brought to you by MCL TV. show on TV.
time to rebuild that gap. I urge you to set aside our differences so that together we can join hands and build the area of our dreams. Remember that my word is my bond. show on TV. Thank you very much. Welcome back to One Stop Breakfast program. Good morning, Abia from MCL TV. Uh, this is our newspaper review segment where we take a look at the papers one after the other and find out what they have for you and all this morning. As usual, we are going to be starting with the Daily Sound. All right, the Daily Sound this morning promises very interesting reading. With the top hand rights, WK approves automatic jobs for Rivers PhD graduates. WK approves automatic jobs for P Rivers PhD graduates. That's a very nice one from the number one citizen of River State. Please go to page 41 and grab the story in full. And leaving that away from there, we see a very interesting, catchy headline. Abaribe Freed as court washes hand of arrest. Abaribe Freed as court washes hand of arrest right that's a nice one uh please continue that story with uh go to page four and grab the detail of this very interesting one about Bay freed by the dss all right and down there we see governor yes and wiki of river state addressing graduating students of river state university in port Harcourt yesterday on the right there president muhammad buhari with Governor Ben Ayade of Cross River State during the commissioning of the first fully automated rice seeds and seedling factory in Calabar yesterday. Okay, just the picture elements say them all. And beneath that, we see very more interesting headlines. United States demands trial of plateau killers. 
United States demands trial of Plateau killers. Buhari in jazz calls for prayers. Go to page 6 and get the rest of this very story. EU to monitor South South States polls, says Irish Envoy. Page 39. EU to monitor, European Union to monitor South South States polls. Okay, and the next is World Cup. It's over for Eagles. Lose to Argentina, two goes to one. Okay, go to page 46 and get the rest of the story. Okay, let's go to the back page. <coughs> Excuse me. Page with are meeting hard facts. Mike Ozukome, June 12, and Buhari's posthumous awards. The legal and political imperatives, the part two of it. You go to page 47 and unravel this very interesting revolution coming from Michael Sokome hard fact on the back page of the Daily Sun and it's followed by Argentina ends Eagles World Cup Tea Party go to page 46 Argentina yesterday ended Eagles World Cup Tea Party and find out the rest of the story and beneath that we see Steve Wilson's Frank talk and Plateau bleeds again you can see La Long there all right <clears throat> the governor, those speech elements appear as well. I just to read this very touching story on the back page of the Daily Sun. It's followed by government by blackmail. Government by blackmail. All right. And that is that for the Daily Sun this very morning. As we meet, go to uh, the next paper, the New Talent. No, the Nation. I beg your pardon. The Nation is the next paper. Oshomele will uphold party supremacy. Go to page 9. You know, the newly elected chairman, national chairman, APC chairman, Osh Adam Oshomele. Okay, says Oshomele will uphold party supremacy. Go to page 9 and find out how Oshomele is going to achieve this. Remember, this will form a part of our discussion this morning. By also leaders pressurize Dixon to run for Senate. Bayelsa leaders pressurized Dixon to run for Senate. And that can be captured in details on page 7. Away from there, we see Imo APC suit gets June 29 hearing dates. Police recover body of Omaya raid. Right? And these you can capture on page 42 and 5. That's on the Imo APC suit getting June 29 hearing dates and police recovering body of Inomaya Raid. Go to pages 42 and 5. For inside, for inside story, see World Cup special, features, results, and more. Go inside the paper and find out. And the AKT 2018, Tunubu Akonde, others reaffirm support for FIME. PDP lawmaker joins APC. APC candidate smelling defeat says PDP. APC candidate smelling defeat. This is coming from PDP. All right, go to pages 7 and 43 and get the stories in details. And beneath that, we see how we will get power to all Nigerians. How we will get power to all Nigerians by the federal government. Go to page 6 and get this. And beside there is a face of Mika Obi. Mikael, referee admitted ball touched Argentina defender's hand. All right, continue the story on page six if you really watched the ball yesterday. Yes, he did. Okay, and with that, we see a county headline Killings, Buhari to put more pressure on security chiefs. On killings, Buhari to put more pressure on security chiefs. And the banner there says, Land grab will be reversed, says Usibajo. Land grab will be reversed. Governor demands Boko Haram treatment. <coughs> and beneath there, we see the photo element of the president, the number one citizen of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari. And I'll read take, for instance, excuse me, <coughs> take, for instance, the situation in Benue, the Benue subsistence farmer. The Benue subsistence farmer knows that the Nigerian cattle header that he knows doesn't carry nothing more than a stick occasionally sometimes some something to cut grass to feed his cattle 
but the present header I am told carried a, carries AK-47 and people are even blaming me for not talking to them because maybe they say I look like one of them all right this is coming from the president okay and that takes us to cross river reference point of agri policy says Buhari cross river reference point of agri policy says Buhari go to page seven and get the story find out what it is really talking about and with the picture let me just by the side you see president Muhammad Buhari cutting the tape to inaugurate the cross river automated rice seeds and seedling factory in Calabar yesterday with him are Governor Ben Ayade from the right hand side there, KB State Governor Abubakar Bagudu behind Buhari and others. All right, and that is on the rice uh, seedling. Okay, and the last on the front page, you see three killed in Delta communities called Clash. Go to page five for this story. Five rice smugglers held in Akwaibom. Okay, on the rice smugglers on page 5, let's go to the back page. On the back page today in the nation, Dele Agekame, it is no coincidence in Nigerian politics that the cautious optimism of the people at the beginning of presidential tenures is turned into raging dissatisfaction before the tenure is over. A malice re uh, replicated across all elective positions. All right, that's coming from Delhi Agekame today in the nation. All right, and that takes us to Louis Odeon bottom line, the bottom line. And this morning, Louis Odeon writes on Oshomile PDP and the unfinished business. With it comes two faces, one of Oshomile and the other of Obagibo. Oshomile is not ready to take prisoners. He is in the mood to completely decimate the position. He has the intellectual magnitude, the oratical, uh, the oratorical clout, and the sheer fecundity to deploy the power of logic in the articulation and elucidation of party and governmental <coughs> and government manifestos and programs. All talking about Oshomle. All right, I'll urge us to read this a column in details and get the stories and the gist in details. And away from there, we meet Headball. Headball this morning, if I, if I remember so well, there was none yesterday. Alabado history, Alabado history, that's from Headball this morning. Read the column in details and find out what Alabado history is all about. Ripple, Stinubu, Tubuhari, Ignor, Opasanjo. Yes, ignore Baba, he's just a noise maker. That's from Ripples this morning. Remember Ripples, the cartoon that says it all in a very comic manner. And with this, we run to meet the new telegram. The new telegram this morning also promises very interesting reading. On the top there, we see Oshomole Tubuhari probe Obasanjo recover what? $16 billion power loot. Rose out policy direction of his regime says change remains APC's slogan. Okay. okay, go to page five. Remember, the APC had come up with a progress new slogan progress. All that will be looking into our discussion this morning. ICPC recovers 17 cars from ex FAM officials. Go to page two and get the story in details. Stepping away from there, we see several stories in one line, beginning with that of pensioners sue governor over 42.3 billion gratuities pension. And we see Ajimobi there. Please read up this story, find out what happened on page 5. And on, on page 4, we see Shell moves to deliver 624 megawatts to national grid. On page 4, we can see the face of Okumba there. Away from Okumba's speech element and the story, we see the face of the number two citizen of Nigeria. 7,200 children treated for lead for uh, lead poisoning, and it's coming from Oshibajo 
the vice president. Other my appointees have deserted me. That is from uh, page 34. Remember who Autumn is? The Benue State Governor. My appointees have deserted me. Go to page 34, a very touching statement coming from this governor. Find out why he's saying this. And when we leave Autumn, we meet a county headline insecurity threat to 2019 elections. INEC, coming from INEC, Independent National Electoral Commission, who says insecurity threat to 2019 elections. The commission registers 9.7 million new voters. A fairly fair Nigerians must vote out APC. All right, go to page 2 and uh, page 12 and find out how Nigerians could achieve this if need be. All right, and we leave that to meet a very colorful picture element. We can see Abia State Governor Dr. Kizi Bazu, the Cross River State Governor Professor Ben Ayade, President Muhammad Buhari, and Kebi State Governor Senator Atiku Bagudu during the inauguration of the first rice seedlings factory in Calabar. All right, and we can see the picture there speaks for itself. You can see our governor, um, Dr. Kezi Bazu, and the rest there. All right, Buhari, don't blame me for headsmen's killings. Okay, that's coming from the president. Uh, governor, over 200 women, children died in plateau attacks. CP redeployed. Go to page four and read the rest of this very touching story this morning. All right, I will leave that to see. Vitamin D deficiency raises lung disease risk. Vitamin D deficiency raises lung disease risk. Go to page seven and uh, unravel this story and find out how we could be consuming vitamin C on daily basis. All right, we go to the back page on the New Telegraph. On the back page, we are meeting Bola Bola Wale. Tax before Adam Oshomele. The tax before the newly elected APC National Chairman, Adam Oshomele. Please go to page 14 of the New Telegraph as inside of the paper and find out, read out this. Let's find out the tax really awaiting Adams or Shomele. And as we leave that, we see sports. Gallant Eagles bow out. Gallant Eagles bow out. All right, 37 sports. Read up there, find out more on that. Still on civilian JTF. <coughs> civilian Joint Tax Force. Still on civilian Joint Tax Force. It's hard choices story this morning. Festus Okoye writes, and I'll read out a little bit of that. Of course, the picture element says members of the Civilian Joint Task Force, JTF. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll read out a little bit of this card out for our own for our own reading. He says it is difficult to wake up every morning and come face to face with the source of your pain and misery. Forgiveness and reconciliation in such circumstances is very difficult. Have we prepared the people to accept their former tormentors and adversaries in a post-conflict North East? This speaks a lot of volume. It speaks volumes to our hearts and to our minds. Uh, there's still the issue of the senseless killings going on in the North East. All right, I'll urge us to read this column in details and get the lessons meant for us here. All right, when we leave that to meet <coughs> High Chief, High Chief this morning killings, justice will be done, Buhari. The question is when. This is High Chief the cotton that says it all in a very comic manner. All right, it's still the question hanging in the air as we crown this morning's newspaper review from One Stop breakfast program good morning Abia and uh, we still continue to tell you still the uh, uh, tip of the iceberg there's no overdose to knowledge the more we read the more informed we are even if you decide to read all the papers for this morning not just the three we have here not just the Sun the nation or the new telegraph read up Vanguard read up Daily Trust a whole lot of others 
There's no evidence to your knowledge. The more you read, the more you fund you are. All right, and without to go for a break, remember when we get back, we'll be discussing the APC. It just concluded a successful APC convention that just took place with Adam Mishomele. I imagine the winner, the national chairman, after Oyego. All right, we even as you are aware, this discussion, remember, is very interactive. We anticipate that you're going to be joining us with a number on the screen. Give us a call. Tell us what you think or ask your questions. All right, before, before we do that, please, I want you to stay tuned for this very interesting documentary, A Love Apart. It just tells the story in a few days, charismatic teenager Ray, uh, Raisa, a nomadic Tuareg from Niger, will marry a man she's never met. Imagine that. This warm, intimate documentary follows Raisa's as she enjoys her last few days of girlhood. All right, don't go away. show on TV. Chukunene carry on your blood. Chukunene carry on your blood. Onene kandaru beke neri bege. No one, no one. Onene o, onene o, onene o. Hello, my name is Buchi. Keep watching MCL TV and don't go away. Aye, God has given you victory. Aye, He has given you victory. Aye, God has given you victory. Aye, He has given you victory. What's up, people? It's your boy E Ben, ministering to God's children, and you're watching MCL TV. Don't touch that dab. Peace. I love you. MCL, the word in your home.
Elle est hâte d'aller à la texte pour en brûle. Je ne sais pas si tu es un peu de temps. Je ne sais pas si tu es un peu de temps. Je ne sais pas si tu es un peu de temps. Je ne sais pas si tu es un peu de temps. Je ne sais pas si tu es un peu Je ne sais pas si tu as Regarde, Oh, 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 oh,
Hamas <laughs> Ka Duban, <laughs> show on TV. Uh, yeah, welcome. Welcome back to One Stop Breakfast program. Good morning, Adia from MCL television and this is our time where we do our discussion this is our discussion segment where we're going to be discussing very important topic and that has to do with the just concluded successful apc convention 2018 convention that just took place with adam comrade adams aliyu shomale imagine the winner after oyego digo yego all right to do justice to this very topic i'll have right here with me uh, Victor Ugo, who is a legal practitioner and a great advocate for change. So thank you for coming on the program. Good morning. Good morning, Adios. All right, he's seconded by my standard left, a seasoned journalist, comrade Yusobio Eke. So you're welcome to the program. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, viewers. All right. I'll do just, I'll just take us through a very brief uh, <coughs> intro background uh, to the topic. Uh, that the All Progressive Congress National Convention in Abuja uh, just concluded its convention 2018, successfully concluded its 2018 convention with Adam Sushomale, a former governor, as the national chairman after Diego Yegu. 
The convention also affirmed the election of 19 other officers. The Edo State Governor, Mr. Godwin Abaseki, has held the election of his predecessor, Comrade Adam Zushumli, as the national chairman of the All Progressives Congress. As speaking after Zushumli was announced elected national chairman of the APC at the Na party's national convention in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, on Saturday, Abaseki noted that the former governor's emergence is an acknowledgement of, the, of his people-centered leadership and his commitment to the commencement and advancement of the nation. Obaseki, who also congratulated other elected officials of the party, said, and I read, we are very proud of Comrade Oshomle's emergence as a national chairman of our great party, the APC, and is also adequately equipped to foster unity and provide a new direction for the party as we move closer to the general election in 2019. Okay. That is just where I'll leave it, although it's quite lengthy. Let me just leave it there. Uh, gentlemen, uh, let me begin with you, the great advocate for change. Uh, with the process, and uh, you know how the convention, how the hurdle they had to pass before they came to that level, uh, according to some of the writers said, they crossed a lot of bridge. Would you say that the final convention followed the due process and came out with Oshomele as the winner? Well, um, the party constitution made it clear that uh, any occupant of the office of the uh, APC has only four years period. Um, the former chairman of APC, Oyegun, was elected sometime in June 2014. And this is June 2018. He has served this time and he has exited. So, the winners uh, in the first place, what form, following the policy of uh, the, the party. They went around and campaigned and uh, they su submitted themselves to democratic process where delegates mm. from all over Nigeria, excluding the uh, Imo state, who couldn't, uh, uh, for obvious reasons, uh, could not participate in the voting, even though. The, the chart of the voting delegate for Imo State was in the brochure. Mm -hmm. But to avert uh, an embarrassing situation, uh, the uh, statutory delegates from Imo were persuaded mm -hmm. not to vote because uh, the statutory delegates obviously uh, were loyal to Rochas. And uh, since uh, there is court order against other people who parade themselves as delegates. So the party took a decision that uh, and persuaded uh, the, the statute delegates not to participate and they needed to that. So uh, it was a very peaceful and wonderful uh, convention. I was there live and direct. I witnessed it. I was agent of uh, one of the, in fact, the main because virtually the office that was contested in that convention was the uh, organizing secretary. Yeah, in fact, I, I, I didn't see any other um, candidates who had agents. So uh, it was organizing secretary that uh, pulled all the storm. Okay, you're saying that it was free and fair. It was a very free and fair. It was trans transparent. Not transparent. You watch it from the from mm, your yes. homes. Uh, all right, that's that from uh, uh, the legal practitioner, Victor Ungo, who is also an uh, APC member. So, uh, um, Yusuf A.K., would you tell us what you think, given the, uh, you know, what happened before this time? Would you say that this convention, as it were, was free and fair, like you said? The APC convention... Or is there more to it than me, I? <laughs> the APC convention, as far as I'm concerned, was a charity. And uh, how is that? In the first instance, um, the, uh, starting even from the congresses in the world and uh, the states level, there were a lot of crises. Outside that, the chairman of the party, the new chairman of the party, has the petitions against him lined up in the EFCC. An administration that says we are out to fight corruption. 
in, in other climes, such a person could have been said, please stay apart. Get through your issues. Then before you are coming in to vie for uh, an, uh, uh, issues, uh, positions. Outside that, because they have held bent to make Oshomole the, gov the chairman of the party, other contestants who came out to come, they were stampeded to, to throw in towel and stay away so that he emerges. The same thing that this very same government, this same administration, was saying that that was the, uh, uh, the way, the, the impunity that was in PDP. They, are, they reenacted it again. Selection. If there are candidates coming for this, allow the, the chairmanship for a candidate. There are a lot of people. Every came, other people came, out, but they were tabulated. If you come out, I will, 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 will open up your can of worms. If you come out, we'll open up your can of worms. Allow them all to come. Let the delegates choose who is the man they want as their chairman of the party. But in the first instance, I'm, I'm bringing up this issue. This issue of petitions against the governor on, as governor on corruption charges. The government in power refused to bring it up. They allowed the person to go in. That is wrong. We are not showing people the good side of us. That is where I'm not happy with it. Isn't it? And outside that, no matter whatever you have seen there, there are a lot of people who are not happy. Although he was saying uh, there are no losers, I know there are, uh, there are a lot of losers. Papa Azua is one of them. Um, uh, people from Imo, Imo State, there are some people who, who lost. He's not so lost. A lot of people, but he said there are no losers. That, uh, there's a, the reconciliation this thing he was going to go and do, I can assure you before the election, before the time of the elections, APC will improve. All right. Thank you very much. That's from you, Sobiri. Okay. This is in the journalist. Uh, at this point, uh, uh, let me come back to you, sir. Uh, Victor Ugo, you heard what is said anyway. I know you'll react to that later. Uh, given the uh, crisis, the crisis that appeared to uh, swallow APC at that point in time, do you think that Oshomele has what it takes to, be, to bring sanity and stability back to APC, given the fact that 21 out of the 26 states for, uh, for the, uh, the party have been in crisis. Do you think that this man has what it takes to bring the, the expected magic back to APC? Uh, please, let me quickly correct you. You said the crisis in APC swallowed APC. If he swallowed APC, APC won't be in existence. So right. I don't know whether I have joined the opposition. <laughs> uh, no. My colleague here is merely, nice, okay. merely singing the song of the opposition, who I jittered because the right man has taken... I can't be singing the song of opposition please. because I'm an APC member please. myself. Can't carry member of APC. Please, please. But we are saying the please. truth. Can you tell me, sir? Please, please. Okay, go ahead, sir. Uh, anybody can claim to be anything. You see, um, Possibly a claim. From, I'm not from, 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 right. I, from the point of Abiyastiku, he says he's a member of APC, which I very much doubt. From the point of uh, Abiyastiku, uh, at the convention, who is who from Abia State was at the National Convention. He himself, as a journalist, didn't even make an attempt to go to convention. He's relying on hearsay, distant, distorted information from 50 persons. And so that is why I continue to blame journalists in this country. Why not go to the situs? The lawyers are not better and, than journalists. So don't come and say and you see, blame journalists. I see things for yourself. You say you are learning, you, you are not. You, you, sit, you sit in the comfort of your home and uh, you begin to report. Um, I, I can tell you, yes, we had a uh, uh, crisis here and there. We'll give you taking the case of Imo State, for example, where the government of Imo State is stating in clear terms that there was no uh, Congress, World Congress, Local Government Congress, and State Congress. It was, we saw it on uh, visual evidence, and the matter is before the court. The court has said 29th of June will be the day for parties to adopt their written addresses. So, given that situation, APC being a law abiding party with court order clearly served on APC. Restraining them from recognizing those who parade themselves as elected officers from the state. And the party had to obey it. 
In the case of River State, too, there was another. The party also obeyed it to the extent that the voting strength of River State was done to, to those not affected by the other. So here and there, you see, you see, you know, that's why I said the journalists should make effort to be at the spur of the moment so that you can truly assess. If you assess from a distant point, you will not know. Um, the, the, he mentioned about every, every platform, but when defeat was staring him in the face, there were many who stepped down as the voting was proceeding. They were forced to step down. Please, please. You were not there. I'll get back to please, you. you, you he was not there. I was there. Even while some of them stepped down, they had votes. <coughs> that of organizing secretary. Some who even stepped, and all of them, those who it was, you can see the pattern of their stepping down. You can agree with me that it was those citizens who bought forms for those who stepped down. But each of because each of them would get down to the podium and say they were stepping down for those citizens. We know that style. Those who ordinarily wouldn't have bothered to contest, a candidate will buy his form, buy so many other people's form. On that day, you the podium and say, I'm stepping down. But, but for the voters, the delegates, they were not deceived by that. They knew whom they wanted to vote for. And I can tell you, putting all the citizens as well on one scale and putting a me Bediro on the other scale, there is no way you can assess them. A me Bediro is organizing secretary specified. In every ramification, you have seen what Ossetia Asa has done within the four years. From today, count what Imi Bediro, the elected uh, organized secretary of it, is going to do. Beautiful, well experienced fellow. Uh, um, one time, uh, um, chairman of the local government, commissioner here, commissioner there, chairman of the uh, um, uh, House of Assembly Service Commission. Well, the fact is, activism started right away in the university. A lawyer of great repute. So, um, probably doesn't know the person in question, and uh, with time, he will compare. So, in, a, in other words, you're saying that Oshomele is, is quite capable of bringing back stability. Yes, you, 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 you saw, you saw Ad Adam Oshomele as a, a labor leader. Yeah. What he achieved. You saw as Adam Oshomola as governor. governor of Edo State. You saw what he achieved. Let me say something about, he said there are corruption allegations against Adam Oshomola. You see, go back to those, one of the, the, the allegations. Mm -hmm. They said Adam Oshomola owns an aircraft. And unfortunately for them, they quoted the number of the aircraft. Go to the internet. Go to the internet and you check that number. Fake number that does not exist. They will go and bring a, a, a Hollywood, a, 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 a Palasha go in Hollywood. And they say it's an emotional You see, um, if I may follow what he's saying, it means that APC will never elect anybody. All right. Because any person you want to elect, the allegation will just fly in. From everywhere. All right, thank you very much, uh, Victor Wugo, the legal practitioner and a great advocate for change. We've heard your piece. Okay, let's hear from you. Uh, this is a journalist. Tell he us was trying to compare um, Izunaso and uh, the new man who is he's supporting. Izunaso was the organizing secretary that midwifed uh, APC into winning election in 2015. Are you on? Are you with me? Mm -hmm. This is the guy that midwifed uh, uh, APC. He had in a midwifing APC uh, to win election in 2015. All right. Now, we are, I, I told it to him, we want to wait. We have come into the new election year. We want to see how this other one, this new organizing secretary, will midwife APC to a victory. Without sounding uh, differently, the things that are happening now are not showing us that the party called APC will get victory in 2019. They, they, all the things that were uh, uh, promised Nigerians, especially the issue of security. This is the worst time we have seen in this country. People are being slaughtered every day. By the time it is before you wake up the next morning, 300 are slaughtered here, 250 are slaughtered there, 50 are slaughtered here, 200. 
the primary job of any administration or any government is protection of lives and property. And the APC government is not giving it to us. It's not what we asked for. The change we asked for when in 2015 Nigerians took their goodwill and allowed Buhari to come in to take over government. We felt he was coming to do something much, much better. But we find out today, recently the, the index right now, Nigeria is so, so, second so, poorest so, nation. Sorry, the at, this point, at this point, at this point, there's need. You understand? Okay, so, no. so, 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 so what I'm trying to say is this. The question of impunity that happened in that uh, uh, convention, every collected from, um, there are other people collected forms, but they were asked to step down. They were forced. If you don't have to bring up canker worms against you, and that was why they stepped down. First of all, they were touting con consensus list, consensus list, consens consensus list, unity list, unity list. There was no such uh, list. It was just uh, the kind of Okay, if, if people were asked to step down, why do you think that that was? Why do you think those other people were asked to step down? Would you tell us? Because it has been. Uh, programmed that they want Asho, uh, Adams or Shomole to be the chairman of the party who will now decide that the, uh, the uh, Buhari will have to run you know, come 2019. Okay, why Adams or Shomole? Wouldn't other people, if elected in the party, also maintain that uh, Buhari should come back? No, but many of them will not have because what Nigerians are clamoring for now is that they want, even if APC wants to get a candidate, they will get, we need a younger candidate, a candidate that will be devoid of nepotism, a candidate will be, that will be prepared to make sure that in APC, the APC has a candidate that will see Nigeria as a whole, not the person will see Nigeria as a clannish uh, 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 place where you, you only have people around you who are in places of power and now this is why we don't have security, this is why the economy is not growing. This is what we are trying to say. All right, thank you very much. You wanted to react, you can do that now. You see, when we come to face the audience and there is a topical issue, the APC Congress, uh, talking about uh, insecurity, talking about the economy of the nation, should, for me, is a different topic. It's not a different topic. I'm sorry, I, I think I'm, I, you have to the same Let us be here. Yeah. So, um, when a brief bought form, the party didn't ask him to buy form. When Adam Oshimone bought form, the party didn't ask him to buy form. And I am surprised that uh, uh, the person you introduced as a seasoned journalist will sit here and tell the audience that why Adam Oshimone was um, voted in. It is because Adam Oshimole will tell Buhari to run. When Buhari himself has declared his intention to run, it, nobody has stopped anybody to run against Buhari in APC. If you feel you have the pedigree to face Buhari, you can't buy your form and you face the voters. See, it's easy to, to say anything. I'm, I'm being practical here. I challenge you, you're a journalist. I challenge you, and uh, you owe a lot of duty to the public. Go, let us start with the rice market in Aba. I'm not going a far distant place. Go to the rice market in Aba and ask them the price index from 2015 when Buhari took over, and what is the price index now. Also ask them the quality and quantity of local rice in the market before Buhari took over. And what is the present situation now? You have to ask yourself, what magic has this government done not only to introduce local rights into the market, but that the local rights has quality and the prices get down on a daily basis? No nation survives by feeding with a, a, in a foreign products. We must learn to feed ourselves. We must learn to do our, That's the only way Nigeria can survive. That's the only way you can have employment. So, um, um, uh, my dear, um, my colleague here should be bold enough to tell the audience whether he was at the Congress. 
if he was not at the Congress, what it means that he's coming here to tell us hearsay, what he didn't witness. I've said I was at the Congress, I saw it live. People freely, those who stepped down, freely stepped down, those who didn't step down, contested us in the latter, for instance, refused to step down. Those who stepped down, stepped down for him. What the delegate, for instance, River State voted for um, for um, uh, Izinasa. Abia was neither here, neither here nor there. Nobody told the Abia delegates where to vote. Some of them voted for Emi Bidu, some voted uh, uh, for Osiza. Um, can even when their governor asked them, you know, that they should support Emi Bidu, they still had few who voted against uh, Emi Bidu. In Katsina, the president's home state, even though the majority voted for Emi Bedou, because I was manning that vote, see some who still voted against uh, Emi Bedou. Or should state, even though virtually all agreed to vote for Emi Bedou, you still had one or two or three who said, no, they wouldn't go the way of the governor. It was a free um, voting and free contest. And, uh, and of course, uh, uh, states like uh, uh, Lagos State, state like uh, uh, um, uh, Edo State voted because they felt uh, um, uh, 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 OCT is an asset. Didn't do well. You see, a man who will go and send fake return officer to a, a, a governorship primaries in Edo State. And they felt we shouldn't have such a man. A man who introduced crisis. You see, Oyegun and uh, this man introduced crisis to the party. When the party was formed, the, the pioneer chairman was Bishi Akande. And Bishi Akande happily stepped down and allowed the negotiation. He didn't present himself for the election. Anyway, I'm sorry, well, we, we really have to cut that here because we also have a, a question where you have to tell us the distinguish between the, the, the immediate past chairman, national chairman, and the current chairman, Adam Sushomini, and tell us what you think distinguishes the two of them from the other. All right, uh, uh, you AK, you heard that the APC has come up with a new slogan, from change to progress. What can you make out of this? And while many people have come up to say that this is another political gimmick to get at the heart of Nigerians, some say that it's every party should be progressive. There's a, pro a part of progressive uh, quality of APC. So why would you Look at this new change of slogan here. The new change of slogan of change to progress. Progressing to what? To negativity. You gave what you told us we are going to bring change. The change you brought to us, all of us Nigeria. The problem we have about Nigerians is that we all know the truth. But a lot of us pretend not seeing the truth. Because they want to see truth differently from the true principle of what truth is. We want to see truth in the way that of our self-interest. The truth is that we were told we are going to bring change to you. The change that will touch the lives of the ordinary man on the street of Nigeria. The change that will make sure that on the, on the tables of the big masses, there will be food on the table. The change that will mean that when we walk on the streets of Nigeria, even in our villages, we will sleep with our two eyes closed and the next morning we wake up. These things are not there. There is nowhere it is there. People are being slaughtered in our nation every second, every minute, in hundreds. The question comes, how long will we continue like this? If we live in this kind of state or status quo, where every day people die, the, 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 the president seems not is incapacitated on what to do. He went. He is now in a, in, in, in plateau, and uh, he say, um, uh, "I'm going to the people will be uh, fished out." This is what we have been been told uh, over and over. After this one dies down again, you see another set happens again. Then we are told the same story: people will be fished out. People will be this. We need leaders that are proactive, leaders that are prepared to go out and do what we are supposed to do. As of today, there is no progress. The new slogan of progress is progressing to negativity. And if 
if Nigerians being what they are, we should be able to say we've been deceived once, we've been deceived twice, we, are, we cannot be deceived a third time. And that's the way I look at it. There is no, the new slogan of progress has, not, it has no meaning. The change we are, we are asking for, the, the slogan of change, did not bring anything to Nigerians. It changed us to what? To negativity. They, it's going to progress us into negativity. So let Nigerians be wary of whatever slogans anybody is banding about. All right, thank you very much. Uh, at this point, we want to invite you out there. Before I come back to you, uh, Barrister uh, Victor Mugu, to respond to that. And we want you out there to join us in this discussion with a number already appeared on the screen. Give us a call and tell us what you think. Ask your questions. We'll be able to. The gentlemen here are quite capable of answering your questions. Also, come up with your opinion. All right. Uh, so, I had made mention of the... the uh, the new slogan for APC from change to progress. What can you say about it, sir? Before, before I answer that question, you see, what makes a man a man is that you should really answer your name. I'm sorry, sir. Let's take this number one call and we'll get back to you. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you for calling your name and your location. My name is Akonia. I'm calling okay. from Abai. All right, thank you, Mr. Kunia, for calling into the program. What's your take? This is my take, yeah. That is my take. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kunia. Thank you, Mr. Kunia. All right. Thank you. So, my question is my comment is this. You need to speak a particular thing, and this is the man here. The convention. Because uh, we are not going to the topic the convention, not the PC, the wrong thing as the uh, PC talk as a talker here. It's only a bit of how to do the process of the talk and pass by the price and other things. Not what we are here for. What they are discussing. And I thank God, you know, I actually call the joint to other things. You see what I mean? And that's what talking about. What we are here discussing and then what we show up in the topic is the convention of this PC, the actual of this. My question, my comment on this is prior to the National Convention, there are crises in all states, there are most people of the states, there are crises. And uh, those crises, no matter how ever the party is trying to tell it, the legacy of the state of the But I'll give it a word. The convention, National Convention was a success. I didn't expect it to be done. Compared to what we have in the state, like River State, Aja State, even ABD, where you know, say on that day. But if you manage the National Convention, then I think it's clear to that. But on the, on the issues, on the great convention from uh, New York to the local government in the state, you know, the crisis of the crisis. That's what I'm saying. I don't know, because I was interviewed by the current Minister of Communication, ICT Communication. Very well. Uh, I thank you for his uh, meaningful contribution. You see, um, you cannot. That's why I said, Oyegu inherited a one united party, and he made every effort to, to disintegrate the party. In fact, some of us uh, started thinking at a point whether he was not being funded by PDP. Uh, so we thank God that uh, he has uh, is seated. And uh, we are very happy about that. If you listen to Adam Shumole, he has said that, that there are no losers. And he also said, like, uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a family thing that uh, 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 there must be reconciliation. Uh, and, uh, there, and there is need for reconciliation. If you talk about uh, a place like Imo, what are we talking about, for instance? We are saying, let there be election at the walls. If you don't, you don't steal uh, uh, resources, stay in Abuja, I write the results. 
alienating thousands of party faithful who would have participated in the choice of who will be their world chairman, who will be their world organizing secretary, who will be one thing or the other. So, the, what we are saying, the, what our demand in Imo is not that the party should be given to uh, Rochas and Rochas structure. We are saying let there be Congress so that the party members will participate. It, and there is no way there will be Congress in Imo. Um, Rochas win. Oh, it's not possible. All right, so let's take this second call. Okay, we lost it. Go ahead. Yes. Okay, you said that there's possible. no way. Yes. Be yes. Anymore. But because he was in his host now, so he didn't think he reversed in uh, in uh, uh, Edo. Where are you going to steal this shit? Stay in a hotel and write it and send back to your office because you were in charge of the process. People will be at the field waiting for. Uh, 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 electoral officers to come and conduct Congress, and they will see nobody at the end of the day. And that is what we have condemned about PDP. All right, and you can't yeah. bring it in a party okay, that you believe in. Thank you, sir. Let's take this call. Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning. All right, thank you for calling. Please, your name and location. And good morning. All right, all right, thank you, sir. What's your take? Mr. Don't go away. What is the main thing you want us to discuss? <laughs> what is the security challenge? All right, thank so you very you much. At your time at the same time. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. All right, you heard him anyway. Mm, it was yeah. just a, a little, he just made that as a reference point. Mm, yeah. Now that we concentrated yeah. on the topic of uh, the issue of a uh, 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 security challenge. Of course, there's no even way we can discuss APC 2018 convention without anybody trying to make a hint on the security challenges in the country. Okay, let's see who's calling again. Hello? Hello? Hello. Good, Hello. Morning. Good morning. Thank you. Your name and location, please. My name is Calling from All right. Thank you. Shimezi, tell us what you think. Yes. We want to change from the Yes, we are hearing you. So the question of the change to the progress is a relevant, is a welcome question. All right. Because if you look in Nigeria, we know the truth and we don't tell the truth. All right. We change it in that. Go ahead, to Tumezi. We are hearing you. So have seen that the change. So they want to, they want to convince. Okay, it appears the line is uh, caught. This was a delay. Tumezi, please. We are not hearing. Your line, your line, your line keeps breaking. It keeps breaking. Would you please call us back, please? Because of time. All right, sir. Bye. Uh, all right, all right. So you remember you've answered the other man's question, but you've not answered on the issue of change, the change of the slogan. Yes, you see, when APC used change as their slogan, we are saying we are changing from one pattern of life to the other. 
we are changing from the system where contracts were awarded for construction of roads, and that money will be cornered into private pockets. That we are changing from where Nigeria will be wholly dependent on imported food at the time Gary was being imported from India. That we are changing from that pattern of life to homegrown economy. That we are changing from uh, impunity to uh, 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 government of accountability, uh, government of law and order and accountability. Today, having Nigeria has having had hope and confidence in us and voted a peace. We have we are now coming to change. We have introduced new change element. At this point, it is for us to progress into that change. If we have Today, the, the staple food on the table of Nigerians has become local rice to the extent of not less than 60%. We need to push it further to a point where we should be talking about 95%. If the price of local rice today is 13500 we must push it to a progressive level where that rice will come if it's possible, 7,000 naira. If we have pushed 7,000 megawatts electricity, we are pushing it to a more progressive level. Law and order, if you drive the street of Nigeria, particularly in the southeast, you, can, you will agree with me that police are still mounting the roads and collecting 2020 naira. For the, in the eye of the ordinary Nigerian, the bribery is still ongoing. But at the top level, you see that if you are given a contract today in Nigeria, you don't just pocket the money and walk away. When you drive around Naba in the Crescent, who are Crescent, Scholar Crescent, uh, Consul Crescent, all those areas, it was NDDC project. The question is that what was Ibia State share all this while? The man, the, those who had the contract in the past had pocketed it. But today, it is not possible. If you pocket it, there must be a question. If you must be called to answer. So it is, we have, we have moved into change. It is difficult to move into change. Right. When you move into change, you are going to see the, the obstacles. Corruption will fight you. You must persevere. And now we are pushing into a, a, a higher level, and that is progressing to a level where things will begin to cruise in easier and easier for Nigerians. All right, thank you very much, sir. Let's see who is calling us. Good morning. Yeah, this is my conclusion. I was never going to All right. Yeah, basically, you are trying to change the GDP, change the change. So that they are going from that change the change that they are going to progress. That is the problem, that GDP is changing the change. Two are now fighting against the change and the change the change. That's because they are not asking change again. They are asking uh, progress. That is better. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, uh, you said okay. Would it come in here uh, before you answer? Uh, the little practitioner Victor Wogo said that the change was and it's all about changing from impunity to accountability to stability and transparency. How can you? How I, do you react to this? I, I sincerely debunk those words. Because the impunity which the blame game said was in the former government is being done now. People are being arrested here and there anyhow. I mean, was just arrested recently. You should be arrested. Someone like him should be arrested. Yes. They are, they are just released. He got caught up and they released. A lot, a lot, a lot, of, that a lot of other people are being arrested. Yes. You just hear in a country where we now say that a Senate president is an arm robber. This is the kind of government we could have. Now let's go. Uh, you talk about change. That changing from people who, people who, change, who take contract and they steal the money. A secretary to the federal government was given the IDP thing. He yes. became a grass cutter and stole the money. And he's being prosecuted. And he's not being prosecuted. We will not see him be prosecuted. He has not been prosecuted. He has, because after that, he has not been prosecuted. Because of what? Because I remember when he was asked. He was asked a question. You, you know what he said? He said, we said the president. He said, who is the president? 
because he knows he is the presidency. This is the, these are the issues. You know, he said, "Who is the presidency?" That's what when they ask him. He said, "Who is the presidency?" He is the presidency. Nothing has happened about this case. Now let's go further. The impunity we are changing from this. You're talking about rice, Nigerian rice. I know he doesn't eat Nigerian rice. Anymore. I do. He doesn't. He doesn't have. You do not know me. Does, I know please you don't. Know. Please, I know you don't have it. Please, please. please. I do, please. You don't have rice. Let me warn you. No, no. Please. At this point, you I need to warn you. You can warn me. No, no, please. That is my boy. You don't. Oh, see, no, no. Look, no, see. Sorry. Let's come. Can you? No, sorry. Can let's you? Let's show on TV. Chuku nene, carry on your blood. Chuku nene, carry on your blood. Oh, nene, can the rube can the ribbe? No one, no one. Oh, nene, oh, oh, nene, oh, oh, nene, oh. Hello, my name is Buchi. Keep watching MCL TV and don't go away. Aye, God has given you victory. Aye, He has given you victory. Aye, God has given you victory. Aye, He has given you victory. What's up, people? It's your boy E Ben, ministering to God's children, and you're watching MCL TV. Don't touch that dab. Peace. I love you. MCL, the word in your home. Stop breakfast show on TV. Thank you very much welcome back it's still one star breakfast program good morning i'm here from mtl tv and remember we'll be talking about abc 2018 convention that was just concluded with adams and leo shomole coming out as winner of that uh, as the national chairman of that party apc and we've been doing justice to this topic with legal practitioner victor Wugo, who is a great advocate for change uh, and also a seasoned journalist by name is Sobio A.K. right here talking, giving their bit on this very interesting topic. All right, before we went on that break, okay, let's, there are calls coming. Let's take this one now. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you for calling, please. My name is Gina Dekio Koro. All right, Gina Koro, thank you for calling. Yeah. Where, yeah. where? Please. From, I from, want to want a young man from where? Party. From where are you calling, well, sir? I'm calling from Abbas. For the coming, he met and said that he want to warn and follow them and whatever, whatever. Please, sir, that change you are talking is because they have never changed any member of your family to the left of Nama. That change you are talking because you have been eating the foreign rice in your house, not the local rice. That change you are talking is because every member of your family is eating the foreign rice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, you know, it's, it's All right. 
at this point in time, I really want to make an announcement on this topic. On this program, we don't expect even our callers to to use this uh, 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 program to insult any of the guests or to be abusive to any of our guests or even to the presenter or to the president or even to our governor. We'll not take it lightly. We we'll always announce this. Please be civil, even as we try to maintain civility and professionalism in this program. Thank you very much. All right, let's take another call. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for calling your name, please, and where you're calling from. Good morning. Good morning. Um, good morning to the guests. Good, good morning, morning, my dear. You're welcome. Uh, please, um, I love the conversation. So much so because it's interactive and educative. And it's crazy. But what the point that is that this issue has said criticism. Because criticism is part of democracy. That's just what I want to contribute. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. At this point in time, you know we're talking about the slogan changing from uh, change to progress. And uh, Victor Hugo was trying to explain. I was uh, on the floor. Okay, you were on the floor before right. that interruption. So I was saying that the, the, the change of from uh, impunity. From change to from change to progress. To progress. That we have not seen the change when it came. We, which we all, out of the goodwill of the mantra of change, Nigerians voted for APC government because of the mantra of change. So that we want to come out and try another way. And what we are saying since, since 2015, what is on the ground? We were promised one naira will be equivalent to one dollar, will be equivalent, one naira will be equivalent to one dollar. We were promised there will be enough food on the table. We are promised there will be security of lives and property. We are promised fuel. You know, as of now, fuel has gone to 145, even going more. We were promised refineries were to be built. We have not seen anyone built. We are still importing fuel. So these promises and promises and promises are not there. Now, you are now saying you are changing from a uh, change. You are now going to progress. Where are you progressing to? Progressing us to something more difficult from what we are. If we re-elect this government again, Nigerians will suffer more. That is what it means. And that is why we are saying, let us. I'm not saying the APC as a party. Are you hearing me? Yeah. I'm not saying that APC as a party is a bad party. But I'm saying that we have tried somebody. And he has not performed. He has not been proactive. We need a leader. In APC, we have young talks. Imaginative, with vision, courageous, who are ready, roaring to go. He signed a bill of not too young to run. And you are now telling them they should not run in 2019. They should wait until 2023. It's a wrong thing to do. There are a lot of young talks in, 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 in APC. Even in spite of the fact that I and my uh, friend here, we are just trying to be that. He's a young man that could take over the reins of government in Nigeria and be a president of Nigeria. With the kind of ideas he has, from what he's, the way he's defending what is here, he can run a better government. Don't you think so? And that's the way I'm, I'm trying, that's what I'm saying. We need leaders. We don't want the leader who has taken us to this point. If we are going to progress, let us have a better person, a younger person with creative ideas and proactive to be there for 2019. That's what I'm saying. All right, thank you. Let's take this last call. All right, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for calling. Your name and location, please, quickly. My name is Big Man, but I can't tell you my location because if I tell you, you are like the arrested. You will be arrested about it. All right. Uh, oh. I just want to give you my own. No problem. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, APC changed their slogan from change to progress. Yes, we are progressing. The purpose of APC before is 100 naira. It's not important. And now we are buying it at the rate of 300 because of the killing of anyway. And the federal government has not done anything about that. Fine and good. Their convention, uh, we 
Shemolo is a good man, but that will not stop us from voting out to Buhari, APC, and spoil the nation. They have failed us, and we are not going to vote for them. That is my own conversation. All right, thank you very much. And uh, um, I, because of time, time constraints, that is the much we can take on the program that was about. Before we leave, I want uh, Barrister Victor Hugo, the great advocate for change, and now uh, I think he to not be great advocate for, for progress. progress. So tell us what you think is the way out now with the APC. Well, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the, the APC has met the, 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 the benchmark we promised Nigerians. Basically, we, pro we promised Nigeria that we are going to fight corruption, that we are going to um, uh, improve on the economy, and then uh, the, the, I, I remember the third one, uh, and then it's, and it's, we are going to uh, provide better security. On the side of the economy, if you check the situation we found ourselves by the time we got into the office. The past government, past government, summary, past government made a whooping sum of 445 billion within six years. All right. What did they do with it? This government has only made 65 billion. Check what they've been able to achieve with 65 billion and what the past government used 465 billion to do. All right. If you compare it, it's incomparable. Thank you, Thank you very much, uh, 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 Comrade Yusodio. What do you have to just in, in a second? What I have to say is this, that Nigerians should be able to use their tongue to count their teeth. All right. Thank you very much, sir. And that's the much we have. Our, right after now, we'll be entertaining sports from Kekon Gebra. Don't go away. game of football is never over until it is over and when successful people celebrate losers will always have a way to give excuses they will tell you that FIFA must have robbed Nigeria yesterday that opinion if you ask me I think Nigeria had every chance to of course bury that game before the Argentines took the lead but the story is that Nigeria is out and a team propelled by the lion of the tribe of Argentina, Lano Messi, is the team that has qualified in the round of 16. We say congratulations to Argentina and of course we wish Nigeria a successful journey. Back home, my name is Kek on Gabriel. This is I welcome you to today's edition of your program. Good morning, Abia, the sports segment. Of course, it is the World Cup. The fever is on the air. We've been seeing a lot of surprises. Peru yesterday have to win their first World Cup game in 38 years. What an history history being made with the kick of the game every minute. Quickly, we are going to be going to our first news story uh, where Barcelona talisman and of course but Argentina, uh, Messiah Lano Messi has of course stated that he uh, in cloud nine following his team progress to the round of 16 where they are going to be facing France on Saturday that is coming from no other person than the lion of the tribe of Argentina himself Lano uh, Messi where the news is that a uh, reliever Lano Messi uh, believes Argentina deserve their place in the round of 16 World Cup after being saved by Marcos Rojo's uh, late winner against Nigeria as they have
avoided an embarrassing group stage exit. Of course, that man, you would know, scored the winning goal against Nigeria in 2014 when the Abbasiles Taino beat Nigeria by three goals uh, to two. That man was on hand yesterday to once again hand Argentina at all their three points. And the story, like I told you, is that it is Argentina rather than Nigeria that is already in the round of 16. But they will always tell you uh, that they have robbed Nigeria. We have the VAR. The VAR was called to review that decision. If you have a protest, do, uh, do that through uh, legal means by filing uh, your complaints to the appropriate authorities. Don't forget uh, that Senegal have to be in the World Cup after South Africa was erroneously you know, awarded a penalty. We saw them uh, winning a World Cup qualifier, but FIFA has to call for a replay of that game after seven months. If you feel Nigeria has been robbed, why not uh, visit uh, FIFA and of course uh, uh, lodge your complaint to the appropriate authorities. Away from that one, now we go over to an issue that has to do with the legend himself, Diego Armando Maradona, where the news is that Argentina legend Diego Armando Maradona said he was fine after being seen uh, by a doctor during the team's World Cup victory over Nigeria on Tuesday. Uh, the story of the Nigeria-Argentina game is still continuing. We've been told that the 57-year-old who captained Argentina to World Cup victory in 1986 said, uh, you know, his neck, uh, you know, hurt him a lot. Uh, Maradona posted a picture on social media showing medical staff with him at halftime of the 2-1 uh, victory, but denied he had been, you know, taken uh, to hospital to the story of Diego Armando uh, Maradona. Argentina's victory meant they reached the last 16th uh, where they will face France on Saturday. We've been told that the uh, uh, video posted online appeared to show Maradona struggling to get up from his seat at full time, but uh, BBC Sportland, uh, he later, uh, you know, boarded a flight back to Moscow earlier. He was in tears when uh, the score was 1-1, which would have, you know, resulted in Argentina's elimination. That is talking about patriotism. The man that I've seen it all, uh, you know, was at the stand to, you know, cheer his country uh, to victory. He gave his team the match, you know, that to ensure uh, that they do all they could to ensure that they beat Nigeria. I would thought that Nigeria would have won that game in 85 minutes. Don't forget that the game of football will always end when the center referee says it is uh, so. So we'll be looking at 2022 and see what Nigeria will definitely uh, do if we are going to go better than what we did uh, this year. We're still talking about the World Cup where the story before us here is that the uh, Gallant Super Eagles have, of course, you know, uh, bow out of the tournament. Gallant Eagles buying out there in great style. We've been told that the Super Eagles yesterday, you know, crashed out of the World Cup after a 2 1 loss uh, to America, uh, South American Giants Argentina at the St. Petersburg uh, Stadium. Two goals from Lionel Messi and Marcos Rojo, uh, you know, gave the Argentines, you know, the three points. And we see qualific uh, qualification for the Abel uh, Celeste after they finished second. Uh, Victor Moses will be told got the consolatory goal uh, from the sport for the Eagles. Nigerian finished third with three points, while Croatia top D uh, with nine points after defeating Iceland by two goals to one in the other match in the group. Eagles could Granite Roy, you know, been told retain the starting lineup uh, that defeated Iceland last Saturday. We've been told he started uh, teenager Francis Uzo in goal, while William True Kong and of course Leon uh, Balogu, you know, my, uh, of course uh, Kenneth Omeru were in the defense, the Brené Dou, and of course uh, Captain Mikel Obiogene carried table. Moses and of course Wilfred and Didi were in the midfield, while Kelechi Henachan, of course, the man himself. That man is from Kano, Ahmed Musa, uh, you know, led the attack for Nigeria. Argentina uh, started the beta of the two sides as, you know, they settled uh, against the Eagles, you know, controlling more of the midfield position in that game. I'm afraid my producer is telling me that it's time uh, we go. But once more, we'll say congratulations to that man that fought in the 95th minute. Like I told you, if you think Nigeria has been robbed, why not approach the appropriate authorities and, of course, make your grievances known. That is it on how we end it on today's edition as the World Cup keep progressing. Who we'll do well to bring you up to speed from this end. Thank you very much, Kekon Gabriel. On that note, we crown this morning's One Star Breakfast program. Good morning, Abia from MCL Television. And tomorrow, promise a more interesting topic coming your way, same time from the number one station. And up next is Onasala Chi Omambia from Cynthia Jimmy. Have a lovely day ahead. Bye bye. <music>
ACL, the world in your home.